What's going on guys, this is Sam, and today Apple released iOS 11.3 beta 4 to developers. If you're a public beta tester, you should be seeing this update within the next few days, or at the very earliest, in just a couple of hours. iOS 11.3 is gonna be a relatively large update. We don't have an exact release date just yet, but I would say end of March, maybe very beginning of April at the very latest. We've got new Animojis messages on iCloud. AirPlay 2 was here, but it has been removed since the initial beta, which is definitely disappointing for anyone one that wanted to take advantage of the new AirPlay 2 features. There's also AR Kit 1.5 for developers that add support for using AR on vertical sources, like maybe pictures hanging on a wall. There's something called Business Chat for developers, and there's a new health records feature that allows you to sync and view your health records synced with specific medical institutions or clinics around the United States. So it's a pretty stacked update, but unfortunately in iOS 11.3 beta 3 and in iOS 11.3 beta 4, Apple has been killing the hype. They removed AirPlay 2 in beta 3 and in iOS 11.3 beta 4 there are only two changes both of which are incredibly tiny. The first one is straight from the release notes. Health record accounts and data are now properly synced to health and iCloud. In previous betas they weren't properly syncing so that has been corrected now and the books app is now called iBooks again. In iOS 11.3 beta 1 Apple changed the name of iBooks to books a little bit simpler but in iOS 11.3 beta 4 Apple has 180'd on that and it is now called iBooks once again. We don't know if this is a glitch or an error, or if Apple just had a change of heart. It looks like only time will tell. Besides those two changes, we haven't really seen anything else in this update. There are still no new wallpapers. There are no new sounds on iOS 11. I was really hoping we would see new wallpapers in iOS 11.3, but that just hasn't been the case yet. As always, I ran a Geekbench test to see if there were any improvements in that area, and my single core score went up by 30 points, and my multi-core score increased by 125 points. So definitely pretty big changes from beta 3 to beta 4, but at the same time, my single and multi-core score averages on iOS 11.3 are very much lower than they were on iOS 11.2.5, where I was getting single core scores of 4,200s and 10,400s. So three or 400 points lower on the multi-core score on iOS 11.3, which leads me to believe that Apple still has parts of the operating system to optimize before releasing this to everyone. As for battery life on iOS 11.3, there aren't any big improvements that I've noticed through the beta cycle. It's roughly the same feeling to me as iOS 11.2.5, so nothing huge in either direction, just about the same. Usually in beta 3, beta 4, in a beta cycle for iOS, we, we still see more changes, and that doesn't seem like it's the case this time around. iOS 11.3 beta 1 had most features that we were looking forward to included by default. There's also the new battery health features in this update that are very bare bones. I wish we could see like maybe a graph or something to better illustrate what our battery health is, but we just get a percentage right now. Like I'll go there and it'll say 97%. And of course, you can also disable the battery throttling if you'd like. It is enabled by default, but you can go in there manually and disable it if you want the best performance you can get on your device without replacing your flawed battery. As always, if any more changes are discovered, I will be sure to update the blog post down below in the description. And if you're interested in downloading my wallpaper, a link for that is down there as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, it does help me out if you take just one second to drop a like. And of course, hit subscribe if you like what you saw. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can head over to shop.iupdateos.com, use code beta for 10% off your entire order. But as for now, thanks so much for watching. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great, and I will talk to you in my next video.